Eh bien, fidèles euh, internautes, très chers compatriotes, nous sommes très heureux de vous savoir nombreux devant vos petits écrans pour suivre les émissions de Alpha Production depuis euh, l'Australie. Dans le cadre de notre rubrique Shalom, où nous accordons la parole à, aux serviteurs des dieux. Et aujourd'hui, nous aurons le plaisir et le privilège de recevoir un des serviteurs des dieux qui va se présenter, qui il est dans le cadre de notre rubrique Shalom. Il va se présenter euh, qui il est, vous allez le découvrir, c'est avec lui que nous allons nous entretenir ce jour. Et bonjour, messieurs. Bonjour, mon vieux. Okay. Très heureux de, de vous avoir. Hein. Ok. Dans notre émission, nous sommes multilingues. Nous, parlons, nous sommes ici en Australie, qui est un pays euh, anglophone. Nous allons entrer en contact avec notre correspondant qui est en Afrique du Sud. Alors, nous allons parler un peu multilingue. Nous, nous serons multilingues en français et en anglais. OK. Dear brothers and yeah. sisters, this is Alpha Production uh, Australia. In our show of uh, Shalom, we give the words to the servant of God around the world to talk about the... Uh, evangelization and to talk about the the word of, of god in also about their ministry so today we have uh, our brother shabani from uh, the uh, south africa he is going to introduce himself who is mr shabani and then we are we are from there we are going to move forward uh mr shabani hi how are you today i'm doing great sir. i'm doing great uh To introduce myself, my name is David, David Shabani. I reside in South Africa, Cape Town, and I'm a senior pastor of Promised Glory Ministry, based here in Cape Town, South Africa. How things are going there in South Africa? Yeah, we are here. We thank God. By His grace, all, all is going well. And regardless of lockdown, as you know, as we, we, we depend on the government of heaven, Uh, regardless of what is happening globally, the pandemic that is going on. Since, since January, we started with the lockdown. They tried to, to put us in level three. Until now, they did not, not allow church yet to gather. And uh, they said that maybe we may be in until 20, uh, 15 February. So we, we still indoor as a church. So we just come to offices and do some, some, some work. Okay, we, we know that uh, there is a uh, lockdown that's happening all around the world, not only in South Africa, and also in here in Australia, uh, same thing. So uh, the gathering of the church is not uh, allowed, just a few people, yeah, also including the funeral and also weddings and uh, so on. So, um, okay, let us talk about your ministry. You say the name of the ministry is... Um, Promised Glory Ministry. Can you talk a little bit about, about the, the vision and the mission of your ministry? Yeah, the, the vision of the church, we, our mandate is to deliver mankind from the power of darkness and make them to live heavenly life on earth. So our mandate is to deliver mankind from the power of darkness and to make them to live a heavenly life on earth, to rule on earth, living life of heaven and earth, that kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So we are assigned to set people free from the kingdom of darkness and then to set them free and make them rule on earth as the heaven is here on earth. And our mission is to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. That in, in short I can say. Our mission to reach the world with the gospel of Christ, Jesus Christ. Okay. That is uh, vision and the vision and the mission. Okay, so the, the vision uh, is the, the deliverance. That's uh, great to, to deliver and then to allow people living the, um, the heaven in hell. This is uh, yeah. one of heaven, the, uh, the, the vision. Heaven life on earth. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Because uh, in heaven, uh, things are go very, very uh, good, great, and nice. And uh, also, yeah. it's about uh, your mission is to reach uh, the world to the gospel. 
So that's but yeah, a large mission Christ. that you have in your ministry. Uh, that's yes. great. Now, you, because you were talking about the lockdown, uh, you have been mm -hmm. locked down, not only your ministry, not only your church, but uh, all around the world. We know that the, the lockdown concerns everybody. So uh, in regards to this pandemic, what message can you deliver to the uh, people of God according to your mission, according to your, the vision of your ministry, uh, also against this pandemic? Okay, so... I will speak, I think, in two ways. Yeah. The first way is that uh, the pandemic is not something new to us as a believer because it has been already uh, been said in the Bible. The Bible has shown us uh, that in the last days, difficult time will come. And we will see so many things will happen. And now has proven that indeed we are in that season where we are seeing all the sons is giving birth to itself concerning, the, concerning what we are seeing in our own eyes. So pandemic is not something new to us as a Christian because the Bible have foretell us. We knew about it already that we, are just, we have to be able to be prepared. And then in the second way, I will say that what is happening now uh, we, we, we as a church, as a body of Christ, as a PGM, uh, Promised Glory Ministry, I strongly believe is a time for the Christian to be at work and to stand on the word of God. Because God has said that him and his word are one. And if God has promised, these things happened before. And God has proven that he's always God on the side of his people. It happened in Egypt where there was, no, there was no light in Egypt for three days. It happened in Egypt where many things happened, but in Goshen, there was always light. The Bible says in the book of Malachi chapter 3, I think 18, it said it will make a difference between his servant, the righteous and the wicked, and between those who serve him and those who don't serve him. So in such time like this, if the church could understand their place, if we could stand and play our part and stand on the word of God, I think we, are, we have a strong influence to apply in such time like this. My belief is that every time you see darkness is thick, it is a, a, a privilege for the church to arise. Why? Uh, I think Daniel chapter 5, verse, verse 12. The Bible says, and Daniel... They, they, they invited Daniel uh, they, that he must solve difficult problem. Why? Because he had the spirit of God in him. So according to James chapter 1 verse 2, he said, Dear brethren, when trouble come your ways, consider it as an opportunity. Okay, you see, trouble come, as Christians, we have to consider it as an opportunity. Now the worst part is that we Christians who are the salt of the earth and the light of the world, than to give the soul to the earth and give the, to be the light to the world, to bring the light to the government. Unfortunately, we are not united. and we are, we, are, we are hiding within. We are doing nothing. And that is a problem that we are facing in our time now. Okay, right. Uh, so you just touched a few things uh, in the same time. And also you are talking about the uh, Christian mission in the world to, be, uh, to become the salt, the salt and also the light of the world because Jesus said yeah. I'm the light he who follow me will not be in the darkness in, anymore so uh, that's, that's why the, the, uh, that brightness of that light from uh, coming from the Christian the Bible says that you cannot put the light to cover but the light has to be open in an open area so now yeah christians are facing those uh demons those uh uh scientists now how christian can raise the voice to convince the world that all that the thing that have been announced by the messiah in the bible this is the accomplishment because uh, i think i remembered uh one of the, the words, uh, Jesus said that 
I'm, I am coming in the world to accomplish what have been talking before. So we have got the prophecy. Jesus Christ also himself prophesied. And he said, at the end of the time, this is what will happen. Now, this is what we are, we are in now. Now, how uh, Christians can uh, showcase those uh, strengths? Okay. I think, number one, because we are, we are, we, we, we are aware of what is happening, so for, for us to influence the world in such time like this, number one, we, we not need to work according to the, the, to the program of the science or the pan, pandemic. We have to, Christian, we have to work according to the, to the pattern of the word of God. Because the Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away, but the, the, the word will remain forever. Now, if Christian, we, number one, we, we, are, we, 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 unite, we are united, and we unite ourselves for the sake of standing against this. Because remember, if we close our mouth, no one will speak. Because the church is a representative of God on earth. Now, us representing God on earth, and us, we are, we are, we are mute. We have been muted by the scientists, by the government. We don't speak out, and then we'll be afflicted. Remember what happened in the book of Esther. The Bible says, a man wanted to exterminate to do the great genocide against the whole race of the Jew. Do you remember? But the Bible says it was the plan that had been made against the Jew, the entire race of the Jew in that in Asusa. But Mordecai could not keep quiet. Mordecai, he act. So many Christians, they have faith, but they can't act on their faith. Mordecai, he arose from the dust and he went inquire Queen Esther, they join forces, and they spray against the plan of Mordecai or of Haman. And what happened by the end? The victory came to the, body, to, the, to, the, to the Jew and everything turned around. So as long as the church is still on earth, if the church we can unite and start to arise, have a voice, I strongly believe because from now on the church is a voice on earth that is representing God. So we cannot be hidden and expect things to change. Change will come when us, we are, we are taking our rightful place and stand and start to speak on behalf of God. As it, as, now my question is this, if Paul was in our time, or Peter, how can, we, can he react? Can he react like as we are reacting? So I strongly believe we, we have a problem as a body of Christ. And if we can stand as Mordecai, we can stand as Esther in our time, we, 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 we will stand to prevent many things, but for the sake of the prophecy of the end time to be fulfilled, we cannot change that. But now, us as a Christian, as we are living in the light, we are not afraid of the end time. We are, we are ready. We have to prepare the church to be aware that we are in the end time, and any time the rapture can, can, can occur, any time the rapture can appear, if Jesus appears now, we are ready to go. But the enemy cannot afflict the church when we still are on earth. That is my point. Uh, I have a question. Uh, you know, when we, we read in the Bible, uh, Paul and uh, Silas, they were in jail, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, they, they were still in jail, but they were still continue to pray until what happened? Mm -hmm. So what, what happened at that time? Because they, 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 they had that belief and the strength that the God we are serving will uh, intervene. This is exactly what uh, happened. So now, the humanity and the entire humanity is living like in a, in a jail, in a prison, right? And all Christians Sorry. are living in the prison. They are not in the... Uh, Paul and yeah. uh, Silas, they were not in the church, they were in a jail. So, mm. particular circumstances, particular actions. Mm. I think that's a, uh, something that most of the people, they, uh, they are not uh, thinking about. In a particular situation, there is also a particular way of doing things. Now, That's correct. do you believe that the Christians and the leaders of the church are thinking about this or are just afraid of what the government is 
putting them in prison? Yeah, I, I think the problem we have is fear. I think the, the Christian and the body of Christ now, we are afraid of, of the government and we are afraid to follow all the protocol that they, they are saying. But remember that long back, long back before the pandemic of coronavirus, people used to go to church with their problem to be solved. People used to go to church with their sickness and disease that they believe that God can rescue them. So now we are in this jail, as you give an illustration of Paul and Silas, we are, we are in this uh, prison that the, the entire world is under uh, uh, captivity of, of the enemy. But the problem now, the Paul and Silas of our time, they, we close our mouth. That is a problem. So if Paul and Silas, we could, did, we could do the same way, we acknowledge the timing and we start to apply the key of the kingdom start praying such time like this because we prayer has the power to change anything if we can stand in faith and prayer and i strongly believe that everything can turn around so this is the time no matter how the jail is if we can stand as paul and silas and play our part as you said everything will turn around because the bible says all things work together for good for those who love god yeah, yeah, that, that's a point uh, be, because um, this is what I, 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 not, I, I notice around the, uh, the cities when I'm just walking around to the different churches. I see that, okay, they say today there is no, uh, no church. The government just give the uh, announcement, no church, and then people just say, okay, we are not going to pray today. Ah, okay. Do you think at that time of Paul and the uh, sailors, they had that uh, interdiction of going out, but they were still in the jail. Do you think the yeah. mouth of Paul and Silas were locked? I don't think so. Now, no, do you think that the, uh, the servant of God and the leaders of the churches, their mouths are still closed or they are closed their mouth by themselves? Because the Bible says, if you are not glorifying me, my father will allow the stones. So if you are not Glorify. doing what you, you, whatever you, you, your, your mission is, so the stones now will go in to, uh, to praise the Lord. What do you think in this? Uh, what your opinion? My opinion is that I think the, 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 the body of Christ, we, 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 we mute our mouth ourselves in a way of fear. Fear is a problem. And you know the government have tried us first. The lockdown didn't start today. They tried to give us three, two months and see how we react. And three months, if we could start reacting from day one to prove them that we are the light, they have to follow the ways of God, not their ways. I strongly believe that we could have a voice. So now, the, the, who mute the church? Who mute the body of Christ? I strongly believe some they, they are muted by ignorance and some they are muted by fear. Okay, by fear. Some they, they are just, they, they want somebody to stand before for them to come. And I strongly believe I am giving a call to all my fellow uh, colleagues in the body of Christ. At this, not a time to close our mouth. Close mouth is close destiny. It is a time for you and I to stand as a voice in our time to stand for the church. For before this great enemy that is, is, is trying to fight the world. And I strongly believe as we are the light, we are the only one we can shine in darkness in such time like this. Okay, uh, you are the servant of God. So um, uh, we are just referring the, uh, the Bible against this time. Uh, mm. According to what you are just saying now that uh, some servant of God they just closed their mouth, uh, as a servant of God, I think the old servant of God, they know that we have, we have received the power that uh, the Lord Jesus said, I'm going to my father who is your father, right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I will not leave you alone. You will mm -hmm. receive the power. Um, you will be my witnesses around the world until the end of the world. So now, 
being the witness of the power of the Holy Spirit, yeah. how can that yeah. make people still remaining in the fear that I cannot do anything, but the Holy Spirit is within me? How that can work? That's, that's what we are talking about, ignorance. It's like somebody has a soap in his house. You know, you can have a soap in your house and you can still stink. You can have a soap in your, in your shower and if you don't apply it, it will still smell. So people have, the Christian, we have that power. John 14, 12 say that if we believe in Christ, greater works we shall do. Now, the greater works we will do where? Not in heaven. We have to start to do it here. Mm -hmm. So the power is in the Christian. But the power is in the born again Christians in the body of Christ. But the problem is that ignorance. We are not aware of what we have. But if we, we, we can stand in our time and start applying that self act, activate the power in us, take action. I strongly believe God will back us up with sons and wonder and the world will know that indeed the church is a light in such time like this. Okay, uh, so this is, uh, I, I'm not going to take you too much time. I know you are very, very busy and uh, to plan everything that you are planning. Now, uh, can you say a few words to the uh, people of God who are just uh, watching you right now according to this pandemic situation? A specific message for them. Uh, uh, I will just say this to encourage the body of Christ at large and the entire world, those are watching me. Uh, I will draw my, one, I'll take one scripture on um, Jeremiah 17, I think 5, 6, 7, and 8. He said that, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, and cursed are those who trust in, the, in men. Now, those who trust in the Lord, the Bible said they are like a tree planted in a river bank. Their root will never wither. They don't care. They don't bother about the heat or a famine, how long the lockdown is. Now, as long as we put our trust in God in such time like this, trust in God simply means total dependency, total relying, relying in God, not, not halfway, not half in government, not half, half with my mother. No. I was a case is a man who put a trust in man. So this is a time for the body of Christ to put fully our trust in God, to depend on him alone. As long as we are rooted in God, our leaves will not wither. Regardless of lockdown or pandemic, even it should last for one year or 2021, God forbid, if they want to. No matter what they are planning to do, if we are rooted in Christ, and then we can produce fruit. What is a fruit you can produce? From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So it's a fruit of the word of God. So we need to go to the word of God and start to apply what God said. I strongly believe this is the time. If you are afflicted, if you are sick, if you are in trouble right now, or you are got coronavirus or the symptom of coronavirus, don't fear. Your God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's the same Jesus. He never changed. Uh, if it's the same Jesus we believe into, the same Jesus who cured the lepers, the same Jesus who opened the blind eyes, the same Jesus who resurrected Lazarus, is the same Jesus that we have him today. Now, he came in the spirit and he lived in you. That's what the Bible says, greater is he the one is in you than the one is in the world. Therefore, fear not. There's an answer. The body of Christ, let us be united and stand together and I strongly believe we can push back this enemy only if our mouth is open. We use our mouth as a weapon to tell the world that the church is the light of the world and we are the salt of the earth. Without us, the earth would be in trouble. So it's a time for us to arise. Let us stop this thing of hiding within the house like dogs. We are not dogs. We are not a house pet. We are the light of the world. The world is waiting for us. Now, long back, as I said before, People used to go to church to be healed, to be delivered. And today is a church hiding the, the healing that they used, to, they used to heal people before. So the time has come for the church to arise and to take our rightful place. And we can only stand 
and take our rightful place if we are in Christ Jesus and we trust in God, in God alone. And our root, our 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 root is in Christ. We will not uh, our leaf will not wither. Also, will bear fruit in every season. Even time of coronavirus will bear fruit. That is my simple message. I will try to encourage the world today, right now. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, encouragement. Now, uh, specifically for the. Uh, PGM uh, believers, uh, a specific uh, word for them? Well, PGM uh, is our year of fruitfulness. Uh, is our year of fruitfulness. Fruitfulness is a command from God. Fruitfulness is the, is, is the, is the way how we to honor the Father. Fruitfulness is, is, is the will of God, is a command, is the way to honor father, the Father. And fruitfulness, because it's a command, then we are called to be fruitful. Don't look at the weather. Let's stand on the word of God because the word of God is eternal. And we stand on it this year, regardless of challenges, regardless of pain, regardless of what is going on on the earth right now, we are commanded to be fruitful. I think that is a message I can give to, to PGM to cling on that word and believe in God's word that this year we'll still be fruitful in all our area, spiritually, in every dimension will be fruitful in Jesus' name. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for the uh, word of uh, encouragement. So we are just at the end of this uh, uh, show, this interview. Yeah, for all those mm. believers who are just so, watching you right now, if they ask for a prayer for them, can you do that to conclude this uh, show? Yeah, I will do that. But the first thing I will ask for them is to accept Jesus. Uh, for those who are unbelievers who don't know Jesus, maybe we don't know who can watch this video. So I think the first thing, the first secret of life, life without Christ, without Christ is full of crisis. So our accept is in Christ. So number one, I will ask them to accept Jesus, those who are not believers. Uh, let me pray quickly with them, then I will pray for the believer. The believer, I will say that I will pray one time, is that put your faith in God. Now, don't be happy to be at home for life as a Christian. It's a trick of the devil who want to cage you at home and quench your fire. The Bible says, don't despise the gathering of the saint. So there is an effect when the saint gather. So you in your house, pray to go back to your church. Pray that we must be restored back to the gathering of the saint. So don't be excited because the church... We won't just be on, on the phone and all the social media. We must gather as a power in gathering. Because in the book of Acts, regardless of challenges, Christians will always gather. So that is where we belong. We can't be in our house forever. So I will pray for the salvation and I will pray for the believer. Those who don't know Jesus Christ, repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, today I, I confess with my mouth and I believe with my heart that you are my Lord and my Savior. And uh, from I confess, and today I accept you as my personal savior. You die, and on the third day, you rose again from the dead. From now on, I'm born again, I'm free from sin, and my old is past, and I'm a new in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me pray now, right now, for the believer. I, my prayer for you is you to receive divine strength. May you arise above your storms, you are blessed beyond curse. Arise, arise. May God speak to your heart in such time like this and make you an answer to your generation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Pastor, for this time that we spent. I think that all the, uh, the people who are watching us right now, so you, re you have received a, uh, a strong message for this specific time. Because on this specific period of time, we have a specific message for, for uh, uh, to encourage the uh, the people of God living in this world. So, yes. this is the end of uh, our show. We said at the beginning we are multi-lang. We can use uh, uh, we are bilang. Uh, we use English and French as well. So, just a few words in French. Eh bien, fidèles euh, internautes et très chers compatriotes, nous avions reçu euh, sur ce plateau, en, 
depuis l'Afrique du Sud, nous sommes ici en Australie. Depuis l'Afrique du Sud, nous avions reçu le serviteur de Dieu, David Chabani, de, euh, du ministère Promised Glory Ministry au niveau de Cape Town. Alors, il nous a parlé de la mission de leur euh, église et la vision de leur église, la délivrance et puis atteindre le monde entier avec la parole euh, de Dieu. Alors, par rapport à cette pandémie du siècle qui est le, euh, le coronavirus, bon, c'est une maladie qui est un peu très complexe. Il y en a qui parlent de coronavirus, il y en a qui parlent de COVID-19, donc on ne sait pas, c'est seulement les scientifiques qui peuvent nous donner un peu cette différenciation entre coronavirus et puis le COVID-19. Et il y a d'autres qui parlent même de COVID-21. Donc, OK, ça c'est leur histoire. Alors, en tant que chrétien, euh, le pasteur nous a donné des références en ce qui concerne le rôle de l'Église en ce net moment. C'est-à-dire l'Église ne doit pas fermer la bouche, comme cela a été le cas de Paul et Silas. Ils étaient en prison, mais ils n'ont pas fermé la bouche. Ils ont glorifié l'Éternel et les murs de la prison étaient rompus. Donc, ça, c'est un témoignage des personnes qui sont dans des situations particulières. Alors, il y a aussi des actions particulières pour, que, pour euh, recevoir la, la main de Dieu dans notre monde. Alors, il a demandé aussi à ce que les, les, les chrétiens et les leaders soient vraiment unis. Alors, euh, merci beaucoup, euh, euh, pasteur euh, David Chabani. Est-ce que vous avez un mot de la fin ou bien euh, les salutations à tous ceux qui nous suivent? Ouais. Je suis très content et très ravi de vous revoir. Ça fait ouais. très longtemps. On, ça fait, moi, je crois, plus de 25 ans ou 20 ans ouais. qu'on se vit. Ouais. Et alors, je suis très content. Et à tout le monde, je vais vous dire, euh, il y a encore l'espoir pour ceux qui vivent. En Christ, Dieu va nous aider. Alors, on doit beaucoup se donner et être euh, route des, être, être enraciné en Christ et faire de tout, et tout nos miens de, de se tenir debout comme la lumière de ce monde. Nous sommes de la lumière de ce monde. Alors, ça nous d'éclairer le monde. Alors, ce n'est pas le temps de se cacher. Ce n'est pas le temps de, d'être à, à, être sous. Comme, comme tu avais dit l'exemple, de, on ne peut pas prendre une lampe la lumière et pour la mettre la sous. Voilà. Son... Alors, on est là pour éclairer le monde. Alors, on doit montrer premièrement au monde que nous sommes l'espoir. Et Christ en nous, l'espérance de la gloire. Alors, on doit beaucoup s'élever et prendre notre place et comme l'Église. Et on peut, ne on peut que faire ça si nous nous tenons à notre place et aussi eh, nous nous tenons dans la parole de Dieu et commencer à prendre des actions pour stopper cet ennemi qui est coronavirus. En tout cas, bien. Merci beaucoup, euh, fidèles euh, internautes. Nous, euh, vous, vous étiez nombreux à nous suivre euh, en direct de l'Australie. C'est bel et bien Alpha Production. Si c'est pour la première fois que, à vous de, de, de nous suivre, veuillez vous abonner sur notre chaîne. Si vous avez des suggestions, ne manquez pas. Euh, vos commentaires sont les bienvenus. Abonnez-vous sur notre chaîne et puis euh, envoyez-nous vos commentaires aussi. Partagez nos émissions. Euh, d'ici là, portez-vous bien et on se retrouve à la fois prochaine. Merci beaucoup. Bye. Merci. Thank you.